Tactical Breach Wizards. What a name. Damn. Skill set. any of these games. Hi, I'm Tom. This is Tactical Breachers. Me and a small team have been working on this for about six and a half years now. And as of today, it's done. It's out. You can buy it. In fact, please do, because we've spent six and a half years on it. And <laughs> now we really wow. need to sell. Um, it's a turn-based tactics game where you have a small team of wizards in Kevlar and modern day tactical gear. And yeah. it's about finding ways to combine their spells to solve the combat encounters you're in. And the way we enable you to do that is we let you rewind your turn as many times as you like. Oh. So rather than just sitting there and asking yourself, how does this ability work? Just try using it. See Which what happens. like quick saving, if quick you're stuck, loading. If you can't see a good solution to the problem you're facing, try a bad solution. It probably won't work, but if you try it, you might realize, oh, if that's I set a predictive cool. bolt up in advance that's very and then cool. use Jen's chain shock to push somebody into it, that's a way we can take out two people with one action. Maybe if I now rewind and use that somewhere else, there's actually oh. a way to clear this whole room in one turn. So basically, it's a game that helps you have clever ideas, even if you have no clever ideas. As mentioned, we have kind of a lot riding on this now, and the thing that's going to make or break us is how well it does in launch week. So we're doing the usual launch discount, it's 10% off this week, but we also wanted to do something extra to thank the people who support us at launch. So we put together a little pack of outfits, they're called the WizTac set, and they look like this. They've got a kind of future tech vibe that we didn't go for in the main game. They're purely cosmetic like all the other outfits in the game, and you get these if you buy the game in launch week. Uh, if you miss launch week, they'll still be available as part of the special edition, so you can never miss out on them completely. But if you buy in launch week, you just get them for free. Nice. Alright, I should probably tell you a bit more about the game, shouldn't I? It's a very story-driven campaign, it's about 15 hours long. All the levels are handcrafted, there's no random generation. It's got pretty extensive difficulty options, so you're not likely to find it too hard or too easy. And we're really proud of it, so I hope you have a good time with it. Some very cool uh, abilities, I guess. 18 bucks, yeah. That mildly fancy. Okay, I appreciate the honesty, you know, that's pretty cool. $18, not bad for like some sort of a mini XCOM type of game. Um, I do appreciate the fact you can move back and forward again. You're just, uh, you know, playing something like, something like XCOM, you're just like saving, loading, saving, loading, unless you're playing like Iron Man or something, right? So it's it's you're right there. It's you're doing the same thing except now you're doing it in game, you know. So that's perfectly fine uh, for somebody like me. And okay, it's an option. You don't want to use it. You don't have to use it, you know. Um, so that's pretty cool. No, yeah, it's not bad. Again, for eighteen dollars, like I said, fifteen hours. It's about a dollar an hour. I think that's worth it if you're enjoying the game, right? And some of the abilities look really, really, really cool, like the teleports and pushing the guy in the black hole, or like going into Overwatch and pushing the other guy into the Overwatch guy. And that's pretty, um, so we got some good ideas over here, some very intelligent ideas, I would say. Not very intelligent, but just like some pretty cool, smart ideas, you know? Thank you for watching. Peace.